video, I'm going to show you how to add templates to new pages on Physiopedia. Templates are important as they allow us to pre-populate the page with certain elements when creating new pages. Using templates is an easy way to add the required formatting to a page so it looks the same as other similar pages on Physiopedia. By using a template, we can also automatically add things such as the referencing function at the end of the page and the editor's list at the top of the page. To make this easy, we've created a Physiopedia page that lists all of the important and most popular templates. So now we know why we use templates, let us have a look at the list of templates on Physiopedia. It is always a good idea when you've created your page to visit the Physiopedia templates page and choose the relevant template. There are lots of templates on this page. The main ones that we use are the new page templates, which include, includes all the basic formatting, and the profile page templates, which you will see on your user profile page. There are also other special templates that we've created. We have the anatomy ones, and you can see those here, and also others such as conditions, interventions, outcome measures, and things like that. There are also other templates on this page that you don't need to worry about, like the project templates. These are used for the education projects that Physiopedia runs, and also the Physiopedia creation projects. You'll also see the image templates. The image templates are added to images that you upload and are automatically featured on the upload page, allowing you to choose the necessary licensing information and also add summary information about the image. However, if this information is missing from the image, this is where you will find the template to update the details. But you will be paying most attention to the general templates and the special templates. So first of all, you need to decide the type of page you're creating and which template you are going to use. So if we look at the new page template, we can see that it's an empty page, but it's already got the headings for you to work on. This new page template is the one that we use the most. And as you can see, there are headings already on the page. It shows you how to do bullet lists and numbered lists, and also has a referencing function already there, so that your reference list will automatically be added when you add citations to the page. The other thing is really useful is the editor's code. Now this is already on the page as well and this can be quite complicated to add if it's not already there. So let's go back and look at the templates. So all you need to do if you're going to use a template is make a note of the name of the template and this is a bit on, in blue on this page. The easiest thing to do is copy the name of the template and then what you need to do is go to the new page that you are working on. Now I've created a new page for a special test. So let us go down and copy the special test template. So remember, all I need to do is highlight and do control C to copy it. Whoops. So now let's go to my new page that I created earlier, the brachial plex tension test and add the special page template. As you can see, this page is blank. All it contains is an X. I added this when I created the page earlier. So now let's add the template to this page. First, you need to make sure you are logged in. You can tell you are logged in because you will see the tools and the edit drop down menu bars and also the option to log out. So now let's go to editing mode and we do this by clicking on the edit drop down menu and choosing the edit option. Now we are in edit mode, you will see that the page has changed and we have the editing navigation toolbar at the top of the page. However, you will need to add a temp to add a template, you need to work in source code. So we need to go to these double square brackets, click on them, and we now switch from editing mode to source code editing. I can then delete my X and add the template code. We do this by typing in two curly brackets S-U-B-S-T followed by colon and then I'm going to paste my text so that's the title of the template that I copied earlier and then close with two curly brackets. That is simply all I need to do to add a template and then when I save the page it's populated with all the relevant headings and I can then just go to the edit page as normal and edit in any way I wish.